Welcome back everyone on the channel. Today I'm sitting in Belgium in a wonderful untouched home. And I actually have a beautiful story to tell you. We did a lot of research about the people who lived here. And we found out that it was an elderly couple living here. It was Mr. Henry, or like they would say here in this region of Belgium, Henry. And it was Mrs. Norva. And yeah, where to start? These people actually earned their costs as landlords and actually selling and leasing their grounds to tenants. Uh, in their leisure time, they really liked horse riding. There are a lot of tools and equipment concerning horse riding. And it also seems that they were involved in agriculture. Besides that, these people were of a strong religious Roman Catholic belief. There are signs and religious artifacts everywhere throughout their home. And they reached a wonderful age of nearly 100 years old. They were happily married, happily in love. Then eventually Mrs. Norva passed away. And a few years later, also Mr. Henri departed this earth. And ever since for a couple of years now, their home is gloomily left, neglected. Nobody is looking after it anymore. And it's literally frozen in time. I'm gonna give you a tour today in their wonderful home. I really hope that you enjoy my perspective on this place and just enjoy watching this video. It will be a beautiful one. So I'm going to start off in one of their bedrooms. So let's have a look. Right over here there is this wonderful vanity. A typical Belgian piece of furniture with a mirror and just its design. It's a common thing we've often seen in these Belgian homes some clothes over here there's a cap and slowly you can see the mold spores as well on the marrow here portrait over there Loaves and a scarf. Apparently, these people also really like to read books. I think right in here used to be some jewelry. Looks like a tiny jewelry box. A necklace. There is a little clump on the wall. And there is again like a necklace inside. Those are no rosaries. That's what I was thinking at first sight because these people were very religious. And also notice the wallpaper by the way. Very, very cozy. Oh, and right over here we can see Mrs. Norva with her horses. I'm gonna zoom in on the picture. Look at her. That was her in her younger days. It really makes you aware about the fact how life is not an eternal value and times can change. There's many personal things left behind in this home. We have a wallet over here and 
those were actually photos from their son and I do think that this was the bedroom of their son when he was still living inside of the home when he grew older we found out the son went studying in a town further away just look at it it's literally entirely vandalism free over there in the corner there's also starting to be some black mold that's why we always wear a mask inside of these places let's check out the wardrobe wow it's literally still containing all their clothes Whoa, some shirts it's unbelievable there's also still some retro oil lamps on top a tiny crucifix some fake flowers what a wonderful time capsule I'm exploring today but also sadly enough it's the aftermath of somebody's life and I cannot get my head straight around it why nobody is looking after it anymore. Anyways, let's continue. Also not this right on top. They even had two little doors. I don't know if I can reach it because I'm not extremely tall. Oh, I think there was a pillow inside. Well, at least I managed to reach it. At the end of the bedroom, we find a little bucket with holy water. And then let's walk along the corridor. So I'm coming back to this part later because there is also actually an upstairs floor. But I first want to show you the downstairs. So apparently we think that this was one of the farms they owned for their agriculture and also for their horses of course. Right next to this door was actually a toilet. I'm not going to show that in detail. And over here was a little side room. A home trainer. I don't know why, but we often find these ones in the 20th century abandoned homes. Early in the 20th century, a lot of people had these ones at their homes because there were not many gyms as they are today. So the people just did their work out at home. Very convenient and a good way to stay healthy. And also a beautiful thing to tell you is that Mr. Henry, the past owner of this home, actually reached the incredible age of 101 years old so it worked the home trainer kept him busy fit and healthy so the wonderful belgium curtains let's have a look inside of this cabinet over here I immediately hear something that's actually the rosary hair swinging around. Oh, 
okay, this is very funny. This was like uh, their diary that was saying for each month what they plan to do. Also, apparently she also did some knitting, turning, a cooking lesson. Very nice. Over here, they went on a bicycle. I'm just translating everything. Old boxes away here with some pencils. There is also a lot of sheets. This was an old telegram from the Kingdom of Belgium. Right underneath it seems that this was like an old cigar box. Oh my gosh, no way. All right, so let's carefully grab it out. This is still containing a lot of old photos. So I think those were a lot of homes they were actually leasing out to people as landlords. They had a lot of ground and properties. And that's how they earned their lease. Oh, where? Very old photo. Could have been at a communion. Maybe it was Mr. Henry when he was younger. Maybe it was their son. Well, this looks very dark. Wow, an old photo on a marriage. I don't think it was them. Maybe it were friends. Over here, soldiers in the army. I love going through these old photos. They're just one by one telling a story on their own. But at the same time, it's incredibly sad that all these memories are now just being left forgotten in time and nobody's caring about it anymore. I'm going to put it back where I found it. It was a very interesting find in this cabin and that's why I actually love going into detail. And I really hope that all the people who are now exploring together with me love to see it too. I cannot see very clearly what's on top of here. Oh, oh this was actually from a family relative who had a cafe. Maybe a brother or a nephew. Because that's the same surname. Some other artwork over there and also not as a lamp. And over here are still some bells and ties hanging. Oh, and this was actually for animals. Like a stick, like probably for the horses. Let's continue throughout their home. Right over here, a very colorful lamp on the ceiling. Imagine that this was the door where they just would walk in each and every day. This, by the way, is also very unique. 
It used to be the seat of a horse. But what they did is they made a mirror out of it. It's the first time I see it. Right over here, some wonderful Roman Catholic statues in the glass bulb. It's something we've often found in these Belgium homes before too. A wooden carved plate, written in German. Still also some keys on top of here. Imagine it could be the key of the main door. They're just left. It worries me if wrong people find these places over here, even some coins, some euro cents. Still glasses inside, a hairbrush. All the tiny things are still left inside of this home. They literally did not took one single thing at least, of course, they couldn't, but any children or relatives? And then why? It's still your parents' belongings. It should not be left neglected. This little cabinet over here, holding a lot of perfume bottles. Some aftershave. I think this was just before they left, out of the door. They decided, okay, Let's put up some nice senses, psh, 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 spray, and let's go away to the supermarket, for example. It's actually very, very smart. I never thought about that. And then it's time to go to their main living room. Have a look at it. Again, it's completely untouched. It's so pristine. And when I only saw a photo of this room, me myself, I did not even believe, is this place really abandoned? But now I'm walking here I'm smelling all the dust, seeing the tiny cobwebs. It's clear that the home is already abandoned for some time. Look behind the door, an old fashioned scale. And then on top, there is another sign of their Roman Catholic belief. It is saying in this place, man does not swear. I've seen it before. Beautiful Belgian curtains. And that's right plan over here. Just have a look at the complete room. It's literally like they left the home and nobody ever returns to reclaim all the stuff. Oh, here on the table. No way. Okay, this is actually quite confronting. This was the obituary notice of Mrs. Norva. She was born on 1918 and she passed away in 2007, which means that she reached an age of 89 years old, if I'm correct, calculating that quickly. 
This was her. I sincerely hope, Norva, that you lived a happy and fulfilling life. And I'm so sorry for the loss for all the relatives. I hope she dies in peace. Okay, let's continue. It made quite some impact on me to find that little dead note. What's this over here? I think there is also still some coins inside of here. Yes, it's not much, but it's still left. And then you really know that this place is very, very unknown and still safe from any burglary or vandalism. Card playing game. Oh, and over here, another old photo with a horse. This could have been the sun or Mr. Henry, but he was very muscled. Or maybe it was just somebody they knew, a friend. But again, something with horses. So that's again one thing which is very, very evident. The very old fashioned, but yet so comfortable leather seats. We often find them in Belgium. There's again an oil lamp there in the corner. And as a matter of fact, because Mr. Henry grew so old and could not walk up the stairs anymore, he was forced to replace his bed to the downstairs to make it more convenient for him. And this is where he spent his last nights before eventually going to a nursing home. And that's where he eventually passed away. Painting of a mill. Again, we see the horsing equipment coming back as decoration in their home. Okay, and now you're going to be absolutely surprised. So when I walked inside, I thought, oh, nice, a piano. And of course, this is the case of a piano, obviously. And then after some time, I decided to look underneath it. And I found out that this was being used as a secretary desk. There is not even piano inside. <laughs> and where they store a lot of things, but mostly receipts, which I'm not gonna show into detail, but they helped us to learn about their names and more. Some glasses inside of here. It's actually a French piano. Actually the case, because there's candle holders on the sides. And then on top of the upright piano, they actually store some glasses. Very, very funny. And believe it or not, but the clock is also still ticking. I guess the batteries are very good. <laughs> However, the time is not right. Okay, so that was one part of the living room. Now let's show you the other side. We have a wooden cabinet over here. Over there is actually written Monday on the green paper. I don't know why. Right behind the door, still some shoes. Also some other tiny artifacts on the wall. Look at the spoons. Over here a hanger. Still some china and glasses behind the glass doors of this cabinet. No, 
Okay, this here actually was their marriage booklet. Let's see. So we have Mr. Henry. He was born in 1918 and he married in 1948 at the age of 30 years old in April to be precise. Wow. And this was Mrs. Nova when she was still young. What a classy and beautiful woman she was. Over here, a pipe to smoke something. I guess that was from Mr. Henry. Still some tiny photos over here. Let's close it again. Some napkins over here. Then this is filled with some everyday items. And some cigar boxes, which are just filled with tiny things. Where are some clothes and some plates over there? They were definitely used to make up the table. Teapot. Some coffee filters on the right downside. It was a radio with a television. Again on the ground over there, they were starting to grow some mold. And a wonderful French style clock. So actually I've not pointed it out yet, but this wooden table has very, very interesting carvings. It's wonderfully carved out. It's a beautiful piece of furniture. They also had a fireplace to keep their home nice and warm in the winter times. There are still even some wood left inside and an old iron on the ground. Amongst with some other things that were used for the fireplace and a religious artifact, the crucifix. Wonderful Maria statue over here. Vintage clock. Look over here, there's like a tiny lizard. Over here, this plate is saying Jerusalem. A very important place for the Roman Catholics. Oh, this magazine is about the mysteries of the Egyptians. I think they liked reading about ancient history. And finally, we end this room with a similar and beautiful photo of Mrs. Norva. Very elegant. And then from the living room, we're gonna resume to their kitchen. A very, very tiny kitchen. Still some hats over here. I think that one was from Mrs. Norva and that one was from Mr. Henry. I think then over here this was holding some spices. Yes, I'm right. <laughs> some curry, mostly curry. That's from some chicken. I'm actually getting quite hungry talking about this. Let's stop. <laughs> Okay, where is a Belgium proverb on the wall? 
at saying thankfulness is a flower that doesn't grow in all gardens. Wow. Accurate. And aware this is a clear sign that the people who live there were of older age and lived inside of this home until their very, very last years of life. Over here they had a small dining table. I actually get a throwback feeling to my own grandmother. She used to have a similar table like this. Top of it is some dirty old newspapers and some walking canes over here. Pocket radio. Just to give you an imagination. Inside of the drawers, literally everything is left from their cutlery to their kitchen tools to a bottle opener, everything. Microwave. What I always really like is these old cans for all the spices, for some tea, some coffee. And then right over here, they could actually put their coffee filters inside. Still, the last dishes are even inside of the sink waiting for eternity to finish them but it's not gonna happen i'm afraid then this was actually their storage part there's still some food products and everything Where they used to put the breads inside. What was this? Was this like an old oven? I do think so. It used to be an oven one day. Well, it's just filled with storage and items. Vintage coffee grinders over here. After you grind it, the beans. You could collect them over here. Still some shoes standing on the ground as well. Okay, and then let's continue to one of the most incredible parts inside of this home. So you've seen a wonderful living room, a beautiful bedroom. This is our equipment on the ground. This over here, I'm quickly gonna pan it out that it was just a bathroom. But then, in the garage, there is an incredible old timer left behind. Have a look at it. Wow. Old Citroën old timer. It's very rare to find such an old timer in actually a terrific condition inside of these old Belgium homes. Well, today it's that time again. We found one. There were also the drying lines for their clothes and towels. <laughs> well, tire is very flat. Just look at this car. Thick layer of dust on it. Not even gonna touch the layer of dust. Cause I think it's very well preserved in time. Look at the inside. There is 67,000, nearly 68,000 kilometers on the clock. Wonderful old timer. <laughs> Even still the papers of the car are also on the ground over there in that little booklet. And a med kit.
right next to me there is also a bicycle and this is what I love about exploring guys if you go out and have a look behind the forgotten walls of such a home you can find such a wonderful car like this and many other surprises by just wandering around exploring in each country and just finding out what's left behind what a shame <laughs> Lastly, as promised, we we're going to this part and eventually going to make our way upstairs. On the stairs, there is this typical French lamp hanging, which used to be an oil lamp. Some modern products over here. The ironing plank. In this home, it's very evident and logic what the different purposes were of each room. Oh, again, so many clothes. It's entirely stuffed. There's even like this wrong fur coat over there. Well, they are squeaking a lot. I'm gonna close them again, the way I found them. We found out that Mrs. Norva liked knitting because she went to a knitting course, if you remember that right. And over here, this box was used for that. You could actually bend it open. Let's see, like this. And you could open each individual compartment. And you can see some sewing wire and a lot of other equipment to knit and to sew. Found them many times before. Now finally, let's go upstairs. And I'm not gonna lie about it. It's pretty difficult to walk up these stairs. And then I also remember and can understand why Mr. Henri replaced his bed to the downstairs. It must have been even harder for an older person to walk up here. Well, this was a little storage right under the roof. Almost made it. I have to watch each step, <laughs> but there we are. And this is my most favorite bedroom. It's very, very retro. And again, completely frozen in time. You can see the wallpaper on the ceiling peeling off. And also right next to that place, talking about this over here, there is also some leakage damage from the roof, I assume. Just have a look at the wonderful wallpaper. Very, very vintage style. And then right over here are some beautiful old photos. It's like a memory wall. So this was the wedding photo of the couple. I think that over here was the cafe of his brother. We can see a girl doing her communion over here in this photo. And probably some other family ancestors. There is a bag on the ground. 
And I think this was once the master bedroom of the couple. Wow. Wonderful religious portrait. Some crucifixes. Marble plate on this desk. Yeah, brushes. This was probably holding all their sheets. Yeah, like you can see. And what I really, really love is the vintage radio. One of the first models from Philips. Wow. I don't know why, but I love finding vintage radios. Because you never see radios like that anymore nowadays. And most of the times people just have a very modern sound system in their homes now. Over here, also the doll. Just laying right in front of the window. Waiting for the sun to come, but it's hot in time now, so it will take some time. There are many photos of different homes I actually noticed. So maybe all different properties they owned and leased out as a landlord. Over here, another sign from the Roman Catholics in Belgium. Belief in Jesus Christ, in eternity. Amen. What a wonderful retro bedroom. Also again, there was a wardrobe over here. Just again, so many clothes of them just left and loved. Please, if any relatives are seeing this, reclaim the clothes of your parents. And also please, if you're not willing to use it anymore, Donate them for a good cause. There's a tiny heater over here. The candle holders, quite massive ones. there is one part left on my right hand side over here and that's the attic there's again many horsing equipment but literally so many all these bells and chains. Why so many? Maybe they even had a business in debt. I don't know. That could have been the case. It's never possible to find out the story from A till Z. I'm doing the best I can. It's not just based on assumptions, but literally like evidence we find where are the very, very old milk cans. Another one over there. Oh, a wonderful upholstery chair over here. Have a look, it's not complete anymore. But look over here. Also with the ornate details on top. Very, very beautiful chair. 
Also over there, a baby chair. And some old boxes for biscuits. Lamb over here. A trash can. Not that that's very, very special, but yeah, a trash can. <laughs> Let's walk to the other side. Maybe there is something else I missed out. Over here are some porcelain pots. There is a chest. Filled with sheets? No, not filled with sheets. This was actually their coffee machine which used to be in the box. There is some pillows for the garden chairs. But I guess that was for it. We explored their beautiful home. Because this was not just a house, this was a home. As a wall, guys. I really hoped you enjoyed this exploration today together with me. I'm gonna put off my mask now to thank you all for making it to this part of the video. If you enjoyed it, you know the drill. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel right down below and leave your thoughts in the comment section right down below. Then I will send you much love, peace and blessings and we will see you on our next adventure. Peace out.